Sup, fellow kid, so? Director Cowell. Oh, come on. The name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha! <sighs> <laughs> I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. Sure. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uva Academy. Mr. Cavill! I already knew that. What? But my disguise is perfect! Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up with my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Casapilla, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along! That's impossible. Honest to goodness. When you heard Casapilla over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmo thingies. Oh yes, it was very clever. It's not fooling anybody, damn it! <laughs> Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. I have to fight Director Cavill now. <laughs> Alright. Imagine if we had to fight him in the victory road in order to take our assessment. I am Casapilla of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to a close. Alright, well, let's bite the monkey first. Bite the monkey. I just love how we're all battling. And everybody's just walking by like, yeah, nothing's going on here. Perfectly normal day, boys. Perfectly normal day, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfectly normal day. But I suppose that is going to be intimidating. Times four electric weakness. Thunder Fang, that doesn't affect me though. Wait, oh, he moved. Good job. Drink some tea, Bahamut. <laughs> Think that I, Casapedia, we back into a corner like this. Very well. It seems I have to Terra Stars my Pokemon. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, bro, get off on a battlefield. What are you doing? Yeah, it just walked right through the battlefield while we're fighting. Shadow Claw. Super effective, but this will work. This. Buddy, get the fire out of picture! <laughs> this damn. <laughs> How strong you have grown. Yeah. <laughs> this dude, th those people walking by just four upon the whole battle. Well, now, Master Soap. Seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassipedia. <gasps> oh! Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassipedia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassipedia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine an ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassipedia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shades me to burden one of my students with such a task. 
But please, defeat Casapita and take on the big boss of Team Star and win! Yes, sir. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. <clears throat> you there! What do you think you're doing? It's a meth teacher. Ah, oh, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Cavill. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why the director of the academy himself facing off against one of our students, no less. What are you thinking? I, I, I could explain. You see, it's a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me! Your excuse is really worse than a stunkies behind. A stunkies behind? Ahem. <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet him in the schoolyard after dark. I'm coming on you, Master Soap. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board, make no mistake. Good gracious, no, anything but that, I implore you. This is where we have to go. And this is where we will... Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, there's Penny. It's Penny. Anybody can recognize that backpack. Thanks for coming. And Penny is also the leader of Team Star. You can kind of tell, though. They look like the soft, timid type. <laughs> this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassipedia, they are both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the Supply Unit and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I just can't roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. <laughs> there's Gavel. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology missed I have you. I I'm prepared just to go on unexpected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it was you. Uh, <clears throat> is that you, Cassipedia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send a video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. He's the cameraman. <laughs> He's gonna record this whole thing. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I am the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassipedia. No. Penny! Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder! Alright, here we go. We're gonna fight the big boss himself Umbreon I won't hold back in this battle I'll stay true to Team Star's code oh wait so it's gonna be all um yeah thought so I mean it's all evolutions it's all evolutions <laughs> that's so cool I don't think I've ever seen a full evolution team before as one of the bosses we have to fight. This is kind of cool. Eee, let's go. Super effective earthquake. No, not, not the baby doll eyes. No. Oh no, it's not Victorian. In terms of human and Pokemon compatibility, shut the fuck up! Alright, set the set the leafy on on fire. No, stop it! Don't give me the baby doll eyes. Smoke some weed. Yes! Flare on. Ooh, yeah, it's all the evolution. Oh, that's cool. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell in your hands. 
Time to star stall! Time to terror stall! Shine bright like the starry sky and be who you wanna be! Let's go! It might hit first though. Oh no, I won't. Oh, but he couldn't kill him quick enough. Shut Stand The sandstorm subsided. Oh, that's giving me the baby doll eyes, damn it. Death. And that's the end. The end. Team Star defeated. Let's go. It's all ogre now. Is what Penny meant to say. Then Shrek leaves the three bedroom window. <laughs> it's finally over, guys. It's done. It's probably live stream on the. Um, Poke. Poke tube. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Oh, hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away at Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous, tyrannous oppression. Towards a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a, but the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then, they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt must have put us up to shit creek. I'll fix this mess up on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So, I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we never speak again? I need to take care of some things. Pray, speak to us. What is Dine and Ten? Hey, Big Boss, answer us! Oh, there she is. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, so, and you too, Clive. Glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star, and me too. Hold that thought, Miss, uh, Penny. I'll have to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried to tell the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them? Even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. 
thus the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassipedia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. <sighs> Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk any further, allow me to reveal to you my very own secret identity. Yeah! Director Clavel? Oh, come on, really? You did not see that coming from a mile away, Penny. Really? Just as Cassipedia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. Why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have a, I have some big feelings about that wig. Ahem. <clears throat> well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come out? Hmm? Everyone? Is it the bosses of Team Star? Oh, it is them! Huh? Yo, big boss! Long time no see! Momo! More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only just found out your real name just now. Millie. Verily is thy long hidden contendence a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Articus. So, um, I heard your real name is Penny. How you been this whole time? Ordy. We found you at last! You've no idea how worried we've been! Harry. Hey, they're all here. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two, hasta la vista, Cassipedia! And hello, Penny! <laughs> now then, Miss Penny, and each and every one of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As Director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still... I... Why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first day as Director, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I know this place was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. <laughs> Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together! Oh, mine heart is giddy with delight. But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Dr. Klein told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through with the save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we ever chucked the team just... Just cause someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must feel have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. 
your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school outfits, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous drive of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your fragrant disregard for school rules cannot simply overlooked. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh shit. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Soap battle in his way through bases. The base's construction, as well as the base tactics employed by students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. It's maybe weird to say, since the STT is supposed to be supposedly be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It's true. We will most hap we will be most happy to have you at our size, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be to protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and School in our lives. This'd be a sweet deal for us. So, what do you say? Guys... So, what do you think? Huh? But, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant to decide for to leave. Master So, please stop by my office later, if you would. Oh. Ah, here you are, Master Soap. I want to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Oi? Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. Uh, hello, Director. About the STCs, i like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, no, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's League points management system. Ah, uh, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. Oh man. Yeah, he's a boomer. It wasn't all that hard. I mean, uh, I mean I'm really sorry, I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Ms. Gita, oh god, on how to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Soap, but I will have to give ask you to give us some privacy. Oh! Yo, who's calling me? Oh, hello, baby. I'm Penny. There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met. I'll be waiting. Let's go meet Penny! But yeah, guys, we uh, completed Operation Team Starfall. Let's go! Wee! <laughs> there she is. All right, <clears throat> what does Penny want? And this is the first place where I met. Hostel V Star. The six of us thought of that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing, 
I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league points point system, but they're letting me off easy. That's great. The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I go do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Cavill and that Gita lady kept complimenting me, like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so good with people face to face. I'd never seen the fun right words, but um... Thank you so much. You saved Team Star, and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Draco Meteor, oh that's cool, that's a cool move. <laughs> I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Are you now? So next time, I'll be the one helping you, so... Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista! Aha. Uh -huh. Starfall Street. Complete! Let's go! Oh boy, here we go. We did it! All three paths complete. Shoot. Yo. Who's this? Is this Arvin? My man! Oh, and... and... Mustafif... Mustafif... Whoa, down, boy! Don't jump up like that! Seems hearing your voice has old Mustafs that here all worked up, so... Oh, but that's not why I call. Knew it forgot. You remember what we talked about before? Well, going to Area Zero? Yes. Of course you do. You little know-it-all. Of course you do, you little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped me to make a name for yourself. Built up some good will, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Air Reserve with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now, so now we've all just got to get there. First step will be gathering at Air Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at Gate Zero. I'll send you the location on your phone too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Huh. I've never seen that place before. We'll be waiting. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, that's... I think that's it. I think that's the end. Yep, there it is. The way home. Well, that's another episode for another time. Shit. Thank you, for... Thank you everybody for watching and come back next time. Game has been good. I like the take of um, three separate paths. This is interesting. So, next episode, we're going to the Great Crater of Paldea, Era Zero, and we're going to see what we can find there. We're going to see who we're going to meet there. Oh, this is going to be fun. We're nearing the very end of this Let's Play. We're nearing the very end. And I think I'll be finishing just in time for Fire Emblem Engage, too. And also the um, new Splatfest that's coming. What's your take anyway? Sweet? Sour? Spicy? Tell me. I would like to hear it. So leave a like, comment, and if you enjoyed what you saw, subscribe because I do a lot of videos ranging from Nintendo as well as Final Fantasy XIV. My social media links are also in the description. Be sure to check them out. Be sure to check them out. Be sure to check them out. And until the next video, everybody. <coughs> And until the next video, everybody, stay fresh and have yourselves a damn good day.